Hello everybody, Tate Davis here um, with another little vlog style, bleh, vlog style video for you. Um, today I thought it'd be fun to share with you five artists I don't like. You know, most of the time on my channel I like to keep it positive, I like to talk about the stuff that I do like, but you know, every once in a while it's pretty fun to talk about and rant about the stuff that I don't like. So, this is just five, you know, if you like these bands, that's great. I don't have any issue with any fans who like this band, who like these bands, um, uh, you know, we all like what we like, us music lovers see and interpret things differently, so if you like these bands, more power to you, I, these bands just don't do anything for me, and these are five, these are just five of them, and there's, these are just five of many, so, uh, number five, uh, is Tool. I do not understand one bit why Tool are worshipped as much as they are. Um, I totally get it. They're great musicians. Maynard James Keenan is a decent singer, although he doesn't really like really like being out in the spotlight. I, to me, Tool is just overblown, bloated, self-indulgent progressive metal. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, people keep saying, oh, they're legendary for their concept albums and all that stuff and use of, your, you know, your regular time signatures and stuff like that. Yeah. It's all bloated, boring that just puts me to sleep in my opinion. But hey, if you like Tool, that's great. I don't. Uh, number four, uh, Nickelback. A poor man's attempt at hard rock, commercialized hard rock. Uh, probably one of the most manufactured bands I've ever listened to. Uh, and Chad Kroger's just not a good person. He's very arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of people share that same opinion with me. Although, you never know, there are people that are, I'm sure Canadian fans watching here are probably you know, super fans of Nickelback and probably wake up every morning wondering what Chad Kroger had for breakfast or where the drummer went to to go get bre or to go get lunch or what Walmart they regularly frequent on a Wednesday afternoon or something like that. I don't know. But for me, Nickelback is just bloated commercialized hard rock that just doesn't sit well with me. And on top of that their songs all sound the same too. This is how you remind me of what I really am. Like, what? Uh, anyway, uh, number three. The Smiths. I'm sorry. I I know, I get why they're so worshipped and why they're, and how influential they are. Uh, to me, Morrissey is a, a terrible human being. Um, and that stigma has stuck with me into not listening to the Smiths. I don't, I already don't listen to his solo stuff. I refuse to listen to his solo stuff. Um, and on top of that, his voice j just sounds like nails on a chalkboard. The boy with the thorn in his side. It's just, oh, make it stop, please. <laughs> I would rather hear pigs, you know, getting branded the sound of a pig getting branded or something like that than, than hear Morrissey's voice. Oh, oh, man. I, Johnny Marr's a good guitar player. I'll give him that. That's about it. Bass player and drummer are okay. Actually, Mike Joyce is a pretty good drummer, but Smiths, I'm sorry. Just whiny noise. Songs that don't make sense. I'm going to get a lot of flack for that one. Um, number two, Five Finger Death Punch. Again, poor man's heavy metal. It, Ivan Moody's voice doesn't sit well with me either. Um, in my opinion, they should be locked up in jail on and charged with ten consecutive life sentences for artistic crimes against humanity due to their cover of Bad Company by Bad Company. 
that is probably one of the worst things I've ever listened to. Um, bad company, you know, trying to make it all macho. It's just what, what? No, you lost the entire point of the original song. It's supposed to have piano in it. Ah, uh, hey, no. Makes Boz Burrell roll over in his grave when he sees it. Ugh. I don't know. I, I detest Five Finger Death Punch with everything in me. And you know what? If you, if you like them, that's fine. And number one. And this is a band that I originally tried to go back to and find some sort of uh some sort of diamond in the rough of any source of good material tried to tried to dig my way through this mine and I couldn't find it uh it's a band from the 80s from the uh glam metal scene of LA um I'm talking about Faster Pussycat they're just not good again the lead singer's voice just really irks me you know, they got Babylon, which is one tune off their debut album, which isn't too bad. It's fun. I mean, when you call it good, it's fun. Just, ugh. Really cheesy. Like I said, lead singer's voice is nasally, and a guitar player's pretty good, but, ugh. Faster Pussycat. If there's one band from that era whose music has not aged well at all, it is Faster Pussycat. And if you don't believe me, go listen to their debut album from... 87, maybe. Ugh. Although, if you want a, you know, fun laugh, you know, so bad it's good, uh, Babylon, off that debut album, is a, a, you know, fun listen. But man, I, I do not like, I really have grown to dislike Faster Pussycat, especially with this recent listen I gave to their discography, um, about a week ago or so. Ugh. Anyway, that's five bands that, uh, I dislike. You know, if you hey, if you like these bands, that's great. I don't. They just don't do anything for me. Um, these are five of many bands I don't. I don't particularly like. But uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.